At the Dubai Air Show 2025, Boeing received a signal that reshaped its entire commercial strategy. Emirates ordered 65 additional 777s valued at $38 billion, a deal that shocked industry analysts. Hidden in the fine print of that order announcement was something far larger, a commitment to study an aircraft that doesn't yet exist. The 777 would stretch commercial aviation to its limits. The 777 represents Boeing's third passenger variant within the broader 777X family. It emerged as a recurring industry discussion point over the past decade, primarily driven by airlines seeking a high-capacity alternative that maintains next-generation efficiency. Emirates Chairman and Chief Executive Sheikh Ahmed bin Said Al Maktoum stated his full support for Boeing's feasibility study of the 777 and expressed his desire to purchase the model if released. This isn't a new concept. Boeing confirmed that technical feasibility of a 777 had been achieved in the last decade. The conversation quieted due to prolonged problems with the broader 777X program, which forced attention onto a lengthy certification process. Now, momentum has returned. The proposed aircraft would become the longest passenger jet ever designed. A stretch of approximately 16 feet beyond the 777 would bring the 777's overall length to 268 feet. This dimensional expansion accommodates what Emirates President Tim Clark targeted, 50 plus additional passengers beyond the 7779 configuration. The result is potential seating capacity of around 470 passengers or more depending on cabin configuration. The 777 currently holds 426 passengers in a three-class layout. The 777 would eclipse these numbers significantly. No twin-engine commercial aircraft of this scale currently exists in operation or on any manufacturer's roadmap. What makes the 777 remarkable is that sheer size doesn't mean sheer inefficiency. The aircraft would be powered by the GE 9 x engine, the same power plant driving the 777. Boeing's 777X family already incorporates composite wing technology and electronic tail skid protection systems that define next-generation engineering standards. Boeing's Justin Hale, customer leader for the 777X, acknowledged the complexity. We've committed to a study with Emirates to understand those things. The evaluation covers design aspects ranging from added structural weight to payload range changes. Darren Hulst, vice president of Boeing's commercial marketing division, stated, we're thinking about what other innovations we can bring, whether it's more range, more payload, more capacity. Takeoff performance will drive the entire 777 study. For a twin-engine aircraft of this magnitude, the critical focus centers on whether it could meet current certification rules for engine failure scenarios. Takeoff performance for any aircraft must account for single-engine capability directly affecting takeoff distance and climb rate. The aircraft's electronic tail skid protection system would prevent over-rotation using existing main landing gear, but as Hale explained, it's more about the impact on takeoff performance. Designers must factor controllability following engine failure, ensuring the aircraft maintains directional control under adverse conditions. The replacement market landscape presents a clear picture. Darren Hulst outlined the facts. The future replacement market for 350-plus seaters, including the current fleets of Airbus, a 380 and 7373ER, is just over 1,000. The vast majority of operators prefer the 779 as the appropriately sized replacement, offering growth without excessive risk. Hulst acknowledged the broader strategy. Sometimes the trade-off on risk is too expensive, and I think as we look forward, the question is going to be, what is the trade-off between risk or more capacity versus a platform for more capacity? Boeing will now conduct a formal feasibility study liaising with airlines and suppliers to understand timeframes, demand figures, and design trade-offs. Emirates holds options for the 777 variant and could exercise them if feasibility studies show sufficient appetite to proceed. The Dubai-based airline remains the driving force behind this initiative. Emirates currently has 270 777X on order, representing 43% of firm orders in Boeing's entire backlog. Industry analysts note that when a carrier of Emirates stature makes such requests, manufacturers listen. Other potential customers have either not come forward publicly or have not yet considered a 777.
technical feasibility is established, market demand is signaling. Boeing's commitment to the study signals serious intent to evaluate whether the world's aviation infrastructure can accommodate this category of aircraft. The question is no longer whether the 777-10 is technically possible, the question is whether the market will support its launch within the next several years. The Dubai Air Show turned upside down the moment Boeing opened its briefing. Nobody expected a reveal of this size. Not the airlines, not the media, and not even Boeing's own partners. The announcement came fast, hit hard, and left the entire aviation industry scrambling to figure out what it means. Emirates Airlines placed an order for 65 Boeing 777 aircraft with a deal valued at $38 billion at list prices. The order represents a substantial expansion of the Dubai-based carrier's long-haul fleet. Emirates already operates 262 Boeing 777 aircraft and had previously ordered 205 Boeing 777X jets. The airline's president, Tim Clark, stated in Boeing's press release, the 777X is designed to complement our fleet profile, and together with our A350 fleet, we are in a strong position to deliver exceptional customer experiences with lower fuel, burn, and emissions. The 7779 stands as the largest twin-engine commercial jet in production. Boeing designed the aircraft to carry between 384 and 426 passengers, depending on configuration. The plane features a wingspan of 235 feet with folding wingtips to accommodate standard airport gates. General Electric GE9X engines power the aircraft, which Boeing says delivers 10% lower fuel consumption per seat compared to competing aircraft. Boeing Commercial Airplanes President and CEO Stephanie Pope commented on the Emirates deal, This order is a powerful endorsement of the 777X and our long-standing partnership with Emirates. The statement appeared in Boeing's official announcement on November 17, 2025. Emirates holds the distinction of being the largest operator of Boeing 777 aircraft worldwide. The carrier's fleet strategy centers on high-capacity, fuel-efficient jets for its hub operations at Dubai International Airport. Ethiopian Airlines announced a commitment to order 11 Boeing 7378 aircraft on the same day. The Addis Ababa-based carrier already operates 34 Boeing 737 MAX jets and has outstanding orders for 16 additional aircraft. Ethiopian Airlines Group CEO Mesfin Tazu stated, The 7378 continues to provide exceptional operational efficiency and passenger comfort. This addition to our order book reflects our confidence in the aeroplane and supports our network growth plans across Africa and beyond. The 7378 carries between 162 and 210 passengers with a maximum range of 3,550 nautical miles. Boeing has delivered over 1,300 MAX aircraft to more than 100 operators worldwide since the aircraft returned to service. Ethiopian Airlines operates one of Africa's largest and most profitable airline networks with flights to over 150 destinations across five continents. Air Senegal committed to purchasing nine Boeing 737 MAX aircraft at the Dubai Air Show. Reuters reported the announcement on November 17, 2025. The deal includes options for additional aircraft, though Boeing did not disclose the specific number of options or the total value of the agreement. Air Senegal currently operates a small fleet and views the Boeing order as part of its expansion strategy to become a regional hub carrier in West Africa. Boeing separately announced on November 16, 2025 that a partnership for export sales of its T-7A Red Hawk advanced jet trainer would be revealed imminently. Reuters reported that Boeing's defense division expects to finalize an agreement with a partner nation to support international sales of the trainer aircraft. The T-7A Red Hawk serves as the U.S. Air Force's next-generation pilot training system. Boeing developed the aircraft in collaboration with Saab, incorporating advanced digital engineering techniques and modern cockpit systems. The T-7A features a twin-tail design and can reach speeds of Mach 0.9, the U. 
US Air Force ordered 351 aircraft with deliveries scheduled to begin in 2025. Boeing aims to expand the program's footprint through international partnerships, following a model similar to other successful defense export programs. The aircraft's design allows for configuration changes to support various training missions and potential light attack roles. Boeing's Dubai announcements follow years of challenges, including the 737 MAX grounding, 787 quality issues, and 777X certification delays. The large Emirates order gives the 777X vital momentum as it competes with the Airbus A350-1000. Ethiopian Airlines' expanded 737 MAX order shows renewed confidence in the program, while Air Senegal's purchase highlights growing demand from African carriers. Together, these deals strengthen Boeing's backlog and support multiple production lines.